There's something I've been hinting at, but I actually want to explicitly point it out here with these numbers. We've had these reference numbers over here, the, the binary numbers or the binary version right here, and then the base 10 or decimal version right here. And uh, if you notice with the binary numbers, I always, at least in this case, I've always written two columns. But I don't necessarily have to write two columns. I could have easily written the numbers like this. Notice I eliminate those two zeros here, and these values are still the same in binary. It's 0 and 1 and 2, and 3. But if I come in here and say, well, I want to erase this 0 on the right-hand side of a non-zero digit, well, that's, that actually is going to change the value of our binary number here. So if I erase this 0, notice we're now a 1. I mean, yeah, it's written further to the left of this 1, than, but there's no other digits on the right of it. So this is a 1, and this is a 1 in binary. So the fact that this 0 we had before is there, and it is on the right side, is significant. Okay, now that's the same as when we do our bank accounts, for example, going back to your bank account. Say you saved up some money and uh, you had $34,532. Well, we generally just write all the numbers that we need. In fact, actually, instead of 532, let's change that to a, a 0, 0, 0. So even though these zeros are not adding anything necessarily to their position here, or not their position, their value in the number, their position is significant. The fact that they exist and they are on the right hand side of this number. If I came here and took an eraser and erased these zeros from your bank account, well, you just went from $34,000 to $34, which is definitely not ideal and then you could call me a hacker. So even though these are zeros and they're not adding anything necessarily to the ones, to the tens, or to the hundreds, the fact that they exist are important. Now, on the other hand, if we put zeros out here, like so, these zeros add no value to this entire number. I could write my bank balance if I had $34,000. I could write it like so. And maybe I could do a better dollar sign than that one I had right there, but well, that's not much better. Anyway, this is still $34,000, and so I can erase these zeros or add them. They don't buy us anything, okay? But we could call these, and we do actually, we call these leading zeros, all right? Now, when we write binary numbers, you'll often see that we'll write the leading zeros anyway, even though they add no further value to the binary number. Why do we do, do that? Well, if you've heard that computers think in bytes, um, that's true. They store binary numbers in groups of eight. So I could come here and say one, 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 and uh, we'll put a zero here. So there's four digits, and then we'll put the leading zeros out here. Even though they're adding no value to this binary number, we still write them in group of, groups of eight. Notice I've even further grouped it into groups of four. All right, the groups of four we call a nibble, and the group of eight we call a byte with a Y, B, Y, T, E. One of the best Christmas gifts I ever got was a tie from my sister-in-law, and it said, bite me, just like so. It said, bite me all over it. And anyway, quite nice. All right, so these are bytes, and these are nibbles, and and uh, just like the odometer example, let me pull that picture back up. If you remember here, we had this scooter example. And the scooter, here we have six digits in base 10. And we have a leading zero here. And the zero adds no value to the rest of the number. But we still put the zero there because this odometer is capable of storing six digits. And so we, we just put the zero there because we represent all six digits all the time. And so the zero is there. It would be interesting if I hit, uh, let me just grab green here. If I drove my scooter and I hit 99,999 miles and my scooter, uh, it looked like this. Okay, let's just pretend this was there. And, and so I hit this significant number, this 900, or 99,999 miles, I drive one more mile, and then all of a sudden, my scooter's like, oh, oh, uh, we need another digit. Let's just magically make this appear, or cut a hole, and pop the zero there, and roll it over to a one. 
All right, that's that's obviously not going to happen. Okay, and I already talked to you about how if I was at 900. 99,999, and I drove another mile, I could pretend my scooter was brand new, all right? So that's why we write, we, we with the binary numbers, we generally write all the numbers, including the lead, leading zeros. We decide how many bits are we going to represent. In this case, I've decided I only want to represent two, so I'll write the leading zeros here and always write all the numbers in my two-bit system here. But whether we're two bits or eight bits, uh, it doesn't really matter. It could be 13 bits. Really doesn't matter. We just need to choose the number of digits we're going to represent, and then we generally write the leading zeros. Not always. We don't have to, and sometimes I won't, but for the most part, I will. And you'll notice most of my examples I'll have from here on out will deal with four bits, because if you can master four bits, well, gee, if you can master one bit, then you can probably master two, and if you've mastered two, uh, generally doing four is no different than mastering two, and then uh, adding four more is the same as as mastering these four and so mastering eight isn't a big deal and then at that point you can I mean once you've mastered how to work just a few digits uh, you can have as many as you want in binary it, it, there's, it's not any more complex besides the possible size of the number having more digits and that same is true for dealing with our base 10 system once you've mastered ones and tens and hundreds and maybe even thousands you can think in millions and billions and trillions and gazillions and even a google which is a one with a hundred zeros after it i believe and it doesn't really matter the numbers still all work the same so there you go leading zeros that's why i write them but not necessary but we definitely write them uh, I, I write them most of the time